And uh, the very important outcome during this uh, BRI forum was the mention of railway <coughs> yes. in the document, outcome document. Uh, so I just want to further understand about this, like, like this is already mentioned in the outcome doc document, and mm -hmm. what is the next process? Mm -hmm. Is it that, uh, can we be sure that the Chinese railway will come to Nepal now? Or are there ma other processes that needs to be completed from our side? Mm -hmm. So would you elaborate on that part? I think that would be good for us. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, and for the trans-border, um, um, cross-border mm -hmm. railway, it is uh, really important between our two countries. But frankly speaking, for the railway build and construction in such a difficult uh, geographic uh, situation in the highest place of the world, it is not an easy job. It is not a job that today we have this political decision and tomorrow we will have that. It is not a that kind of a project. It is quite a scientific one. We need further scientific, uh, some scientific uh, studies, feasibility studies. Uh, in the uh, normal practice, to build a railway, we need at least four part of uh, uh, preparations for a kind of construction. The first is pre-feasibility study. The second is feasibility study. The third is the design of this railway. And the last will be construct and build. That means we have already concluded the first phase, pre-feasibility study. So next step will the uh, free uh, will the uh, uh, feasibility studies for the transporter part. So that is, will be the next step of our works. Uh, though it is a long-term project, but we have the determination uh, to continue our work uh, uh, step by step. We should not stop that kind of work, and we should also not looking forward it is completion in two or three years. Mm -hmm. So we have to have a very scientific attitude to this kind of uh, project. So, so uh, are mm. both Nepal and China, are they enter into the discussion of funding modality, mm -hmm. uh, how this project is going <coughs> to be funded? Is there any discussion between the two? Funders? Yeah, uh, the development department right now is uh, discuss the funding of feasibility study. Only discussion for the feasibility study, because for the feasibility study, it's also uh, okay. need a big amount, the big amount of funds. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an idea like how much amount for that feasibility study? Oh, not yet. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very. Uh, yeah. Last time <coughs> I was, and, uh, I came across the news report that said like thirty-five billion, and another report said it just. 2.5 billion something, so pretty confusing. Like so sometimes I was also confused that <laughs> where did the figure come from? Yeah. <laughs> Just small question about uh, again the railway project. Uh, uh, even if it is uh, technologically uh, feasible, uh, it, that is a study uh, because the feasibility study is yet to be carried out. The Nepalese government has been in you know, a certain state not to take loan. Uh, the, uh, they have been suggested that the railway, if it has to be uh, built, uh, it has, uh, Nepal government should, uh, you know, choose, uh, ask the Chinese government uh, for the grant. And is it uh, idle for the Chinese government to, you know, uh, build the, that huge project, uh, granting a loan to me, uh, granting, uh, Underground. 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 Mm -hmm. Maybe after the feasibility study, we will know that how will this railway cost. Mm -hmm. So then we will discuss the next step. So the first of all, we would like to start the feasibility study. So we have to say something according to this kind of uh, studies. Yeah. Not yet discuss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.